Professor Zade, you have made uh, many other significant uh, contributions in the scientific and engineering fields. As an example, what led you to the development of a state space uh, theory of linear systems? Please tell us about the significance of that theory. Well, uh, uh, after I received my PhD degree from Columbia, my master's degree from MIT, uh, I, my field was systems analysis and information systems. That was my field. And I've written quite a few papers. My 1952 paper on Z-transform was during that period. And, uh, but, uh, so I was not very satisfied with traditional approaches to systems analysis. So I have written many papers in which I discussed various problems, one of which we said was identification. The word identification was introduced in my 1956 paper, not many people know. They use identification all over the place, system identification. But the word was used for the first time in my 1956 paper. Anyway, systems analysis. And uh, so gradually then, uh, yes, I, uh, I was also influenced by some of the papers that Moore at Bell Labs wrote on finite state machines in which he used automata theory and something, the concept of state was used in a certain way. So that gave me an idea to take that and apply to, not to automata, but to linear systems and nonlinear systems. Uh, so that uh, I began to write on that subject and uh, uh, I gradually it developed to a point where together with Professor Gisor, we wrote a book, 1963, that was two years late, before my 1965 paper, State Space Approach. And in that paper, book, excuse me, book, what I, what I did, the chapters uh, State Space were written by me. Uh, I said that, you know what? We have this theory of finite states automata. We can take some of it and apply it to linear systems, different point of view. And so that I called state-space approach. And uh, the state prior to that, people used differential equations most of them to deal with systems. So that book had certain influence. In its time, it was popular to be used in courses on control and so forth. But even there, I had some problems with initial understanding. Uh, even though it was not fuzzy sets, but it took a while before people began to understand what is this state-space approach. Initially, they didn't. Uh, you mentioned uh, the Z-transform. Uh, a lot of people uh, are wondering why the letter Z was used in the Z-transform. Yes. Uh, any uh, comment on that? Yes. You know, this is a question that I am asked rather frequently. People assume that Z is connected to my name. No, it isn't. The reason why I use Z is because in the mathematical literature, there are some paper on difference equations in by Levinson in that paper, he used Z. Not the same sample data systems, but it's something that's related. He used Z. Because he used Z, I use Z. So that was because of the paper by Levinson, Z transform. But as I said earlier, many people assume that it's because of my name. I never did that. However, more recently, and for the first time, I wrote a paper called Z Numbers. Z in that paper <laughs> is going to put my name. Z Number. And the paper just appeared now, just a few weeks ago, in Information Sciences. And I think that that will 
have many applications. I'm very pleased that at my age, I could come up with something that is a new direction. So these numbers will be used a lot. My first success paper had 26,000 citations, Google citations. Usually a paper has 50, 60, 100. In Europe, to become a professor, your paper must have at least 50 citations. 50 citations compared to 26,000 citations. So it is the highest cited paper in information control. My paper is number one. The second highest cited paper, 2,000 citations from 26,000 to 2,000. So my paper on linguistic variable is highest cited paper in information sciences, number one. My paper on possibility theory, highest cited paper in physicism system. I had the same problem with possibility theory that I had with physicists. People did not accept it. But today, if you use Google, possibility theory, many, many papers. So my thick <laughs> skin is thick. So if somebody <laughs> tells me I'm stupid, say thank you very much for the compliment.